What is up, fellas? Ladies. Here I am, back again, today with another juice review for you. And today I want to talk to you about a juice line from a company who contacted me called Northland Vapor Company from Fargo, North Dakota. Have any of you guys ever seen Fargo? I watch it on Hulu. Man, don't sleep on Fargo. First two seasons, mwah. Never been to North Dakota. Like to go. It's real close to Canada. Which I also want to talk about. It's Canada Day, or is today Canada Day? I think July 1st is Canada Day. Uh, anyway, Northland Vapor Company today. I don't know how long it's going to last, but they're holding a sale. So check it out for Canada Day. Hey. Eh? But anyway, I don't want to screw around too much. They sent me, I think, 11 flavors from this line, so I want to go through all of them, but I don't want this video to be 900, 900 hours long, even though... <laughs> who, who wouldn't want to look at this face for 900 hours? You wouldn't. That's who. But to get the basics down, I will be trying these today, as usual, on the Troll V2 RDA, on the Wismec Rulo RX300, the new Batris. Got new Batris in this B. Know what I'm saying? But before we get into the actual tasting, let's go ahead and go through pricing. Um, at least during the sale, uh, these things, which are called the Northland Flight Experience, which house, let me open them up. Let me, calm down. Let me open them up. Five, 530 mil, like, these are kind of like their sample bottles, because they also sell 120 mils, which we'll talk about in a second. But 530 mils, uh, 21.99. 150 mils for 21.99 on sale. They're normally $24.99, which still is a hell of a deal. The normal price for a 30 mil individually is $6.99, and then the 120 mils, it looks like $14.99. $14.99, 120 mils. Can't beat that with a bet. They also have another line called the Apex line, which I think is their, their premium line, which I will be reviewing hopefully next week. And in addition to that, they also sell some sweet hardware and some Northland swag. Check that out, because uh, I'm thinking about getting one of those hats, one of those caps. I need some new caps. But all of this and probably much more are at www.northlandvapor.com. Check it out. But enough of that, let's go ahead and look at these bottles. All these 30 mil bottles are pretty much the same. The color on the label changes and the, of course the flavor name changes. Look at these real quick. What I do like about these bottles is they have not only a born on date, I picked the crappiest bottle to show you because the contrast isn't super good. But they have a born on date, which is important. They have your nicotine level here, which is also important. And they have the VG ratio, the VG percentage, which I wish every company, every bottle of e-juice would have. Sometimes I forget and I want to know. Since I picked this up, nuts and cream will be the first one I try. Smooth caramel or caramel. Hit me up in the comments. You say caramel or caramel? Because I say caramel because I'm smart. Wicked smart. Smooth caramel, toasted hazelnuts combined with a sweet cream. Sounds delicious. I'm not going to waste a lot of time sniffing because I want to get to tasting. So we're going to go ahead and skip sniff tests and jump right into nuts and cream. We're going to jump right into nuts and the creams. All right, nuts and cream, caramel, hazelnuts, and some sweet cream. Let's check it out. Ooh, that is surprisingly nutty. That's the first time I've ever said that about an e-juice. I like that. Um, I actually had an e-juice once that had pecans in it, or pecans, if you're from Georgia. And it was delightful, and this is this is the same. Uh, I just had coffee with hazelnut creamer, so I know what hazelnuts taste like, and that's hazelnut with some cream. Let's go ahead and get the second hit in. Yeah, that caramel is, mm, that's actually really good. That caramel is really light. You get a lot of the hazelnut and the cream. That's that's fantastic. That's like having a, a nice morning hazelnut, like a light breakfast blend coffee. Yeah, I'm digging. I'm digging the nuts and cream, which I really shouldn't say on public airways. But I'm digging this. I'm digging this a lot. Nice start. Nice start, Northland Vapor. Well done. Well played. Moving right along. Next up is Raspberry Creme Boulet, a complex blend of cream, real raspberries, and a touch of booze. Holy mackerel. Let's do that. This one is also, if I didn't mention the last one was 80, you probably saw, 81% VG. This one is also 81% VG. I've never had Creme Brulee. I know it's for fancy pants people, for like the fancy people, which I'm not. But uh, 
It sounds delicious. Fancy people like it, so... Oh, man, that smells good. I know I'm skipping sniffs, but, man, that smells good already. Raspberry creme brulee. Let's do this. And them clouds is thick. Man, that's... Oh... Oh, that's actually pretty familiar. I've never... Oh, that is good. What does that taste like? The raspberries are fantastic. The creaminess reminds me of something, and I don't know how to explain it. Let me, let me get the second hit. That is a really light, delectable, tasty. Tasty. That's a good... That's a really generic euphemism, but that's what fits... That tastes, oh, that's good too. It doesn't taste like candied raspberry. That tastes like raspberries. And the cream, the creme brulee, whatever the hell that is, I don't, I'm not gonna lie, man. I don't know. I think you, you throw fire on it or something. But I, I think of it as kind of custardy. It's really like custardy raspberries. Really, that could definitely be an all day vape that's not too sweet, but it does have some sweetness. Um, yeah, man, I'm digging that as well. Very much so. Raspberry creme brulee, another good one. Let's go. Next up we have Blue Raz, which reads as a classic raspberry flavored e-liquid. This is a good combo of tart and sweet. 79 VG. I think I have a pretty good base on what Blue Raspberry is supposed to taste like. Uh, as far as like dum-dums and whatnot, I love Blue Raspberry. So I'm thinking this one should be pretty good as well. Sweet and tart, it said. Let's see. And that is sweet and tart. It tastes like a raspberry, blue raspberry dum dum. Little, maybe a little more tart. Maybe a little more tart. Let me, let me see. That's probably a little too sweet and tart to be an all day vape for me, but it, it tastes like a raspberry dum dum. If you like blue raspberry flavored candy, that's what it is. It's simple as that. Uh, yeah, I like it. I like this one too. And next up we have M3. Mystery, mystery. Actually, maybe it's M cubed. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what the website says. It's like M cubed. I'm going to go with M cubed. Moderately minty melon. A mix. Oh, yeah. See? See that alliteration? Moderately minty melon. Hmm? Moderately minty melon. A mix of watermelon, honeydew, and something special with the slightest hint of cool. 86 VG. Man, that sounds, uh, I like melon vape. I definitely like honeydew vapes. And I like uh, refreshing menthol minty kind of vapes. And something else I wanted to mention, uh, the website advertises these as no artificial sweeteners and no dicotone. Dicotone. D-I-K-E-T-O-N-E. Should I look that up? Look it up. Tell me what it means. It's free of it, though, so uh, uh, I'm guessing it's pretty good. I'm guessing you don't want dick dickatone. Dakikatan? Alright, M cubed. Watermelon honeydew and something special, slight bit of cool. Alright. Man, you almost get cantaloupe in there. I get the honeydew, and I know honeydew and cantaloupe are in the same family, the melon family. But yeah, I almost get cantaloupe with that. I get honeydew. Actually, that man, let me hit that again, cause I'm, I'm. That's really complex. That's a lot more complex than I was expecting. Let me get a, let me get a second toke. Let me tell you why that's nice and why that's different. First of all, the honeydew comes through really well. I almost get a, a, a bit of cantaloupe in there. The watermelon tastes like watermelon. And it I don't mean it tastes like watermelon Jolly Ranchers. It tastes like eating a water. It tastes like fresh watermelon, which isn't what I usually get from, from watermelon melon vapes. Usually you get that candied, really sweet, uh, which I like. But actually, I'm really digging this. That, that little bit of, of cool menthol, and it, it's slight. It's not like if you're a menthol vapor or menthol cigarette smoker or whatever. It's not a punch you in the nuts kind of menthol. It's a little refreshing undertone. I'm going to take a third off this because that's, that's really, that's really complex. Yeah, man, to get a little bit of this and maybe a little bit of a little glass of rum or something, 
That'd go really nice. Let me go ahead and put a little disclaimer here. Since I've had four, like, really surprisingly good flavors in a row. I don't know why I say surprising. But for anyone out there who thinks I get e-juice and I'm just like, oh, man, this is great. This is all great. Go look at some of my other reviews. If it tastes like feet, I'm going to tell you it tastes like feet. The advantage I have now is that I choose my own flavor profiles. So I have the advantage of choosing things that I'm pretty sure I'm going to like. But enough of that nonsense. Let's go up to the fifth flavor, which is Jungle Number 4. Jungle number four. Jungle number four is a bright mix of tropical fruits at 87 BG. She gets some, some damn good clouds out this one. All right, jungle number four. I love me some tropical fruits. Let's see if I can see what's in here. Oh, very nice, but not acidic. Definitely right off the bat, pineapple. But a really smooth, almost like a like a pineapple smoothie pineapple, not acidic at all. Which a lot of tropical fruits can be, or at least pineapple can be for sure. That's not, that's a really smooth pineapple. I don't taste any coconut. Papaya, maybe. I think I'm getting papaya. It's really smooth. That's a lot smoother than I was expecting for a tropical fruit medley blend mix. Let's get the second hit. Yeah, them clouds are nice. Man, and that's nice. That's a, that's, trop that's a tropical blend. It's more like a tropical smoothie blend. Not that it tastes like creamy, but it, it's... I, I don't want to say muted, because that has some negative connotations, but it's muted. It's a muted tropical blend. It's, uh, it's not acidic. It's very smooth. That's another, that's another drink. If I was drinking some... Uh, some liqueur that would pair up very very nicely jungle number four i dig it i dig it moving right along we have loopies which i can almost guarantee is a cereal vape i shouldn't say that because I, I don't want to be guaranteeing stuff but loopies is everyone's favorite fruity o-shaped breakfast cereal with a real milky tang at 82 vg so let's try this out let's see i've had a ton I've had a butt ton a veritable butt ton of fruit loops vapes so let's see how this one stacks up. Oh, that is milky. That's, yeah, uh, that's, that's the type I like. Um, this is a Fruit Looty Vape. So if you like Fruit Loot Vapes, you'll like it. It's one of those that's heavier on the lemon, which is fine with me because I like I like lemon vape, but it's milky. You get that nice milk, that nice creamy milk, like eating a bowl of cereal. Cereal. Yeah, let me let me let me get that again. Yeah, man, that's that for a cereal vape. That's that's really nice. That's really nice, really creamy, really milky. Like I said, heavy on the lemon. So if you like that, that that's good. If you don't, it is heavy on the lemon, and it's one of the more subdued cereal vapes and a lot of that i think is because it's milky so you don't get that blast of like that dry cereal flavor which i, I prefer i prefer the milkier ones so yeah loopies all right next up we're gonna go a little bit out of my comfort zone with earl gray tea earl gray tea a smooth earl gray tea with a dash of cream easily an all-day vape and i say this is a bit out of my comfort zone because I have absolutely no idea what this is supposed to taste like. As far as tea goes, man, I, I, I get down with some iced tea. I, I prefer sweet and low, maybe a little lemon. So I'm really excited actually to try this. I know Earl Grey tea is a, is a hot commodity with some peeps. Some people swear by it. Me? Don't know. Don't know. But I will in just a second. Wow, that's that's different. Not bad, actually. I actually see why they listed that specifically in the description as a possible all-day vape because that's that's really light and smooth. Earl Grey tea must be pretty good. Definitely different though for me. Let me let me hit that again. I'm definitely glad I got that though. That's 
it's a very light, smooth. I'm going to Ireland. I don't know if I mentioned that. I'm going to Ireland in about six months. And I know they're real big into Earl Grey tea. Or maybe I'm making that up. I don't know what I'm talking about half the time. But that's, pre that's pretty damn good. It's It tastes like I, I would imagine a hot cup of tea to taste like. Which, which is weird. But good. Earl Grey tea. Glad I got it. Surprising. I'm, I'm actually surprised with that one. Let, let's move on. And next up we have Pink Lemonade at an 86 VG. Thirst quenching, cool, and refreshing pink lemonade with a hint of melon. Sure to be an instant all day vape. Hashtag ADV. Now I've had my share of pink lemonade, so I'm a lot more comfortable. Not comfortable. It wasn't like I was uncomfortable with Earl Grey tea, but I'm a lot more... I have a lot more basis. I have something to compare this to. Because I know what pink lemonade tastes like. I used to go to Corn Dog on a Stick. You know that place? Man, get them cheese corn dogs with cheese in it. And I'd always get a pink lemonade at Redbird Mall. You know Redbird Mall? It's down, down off Camp Wisdom. They changed it for a while to Southwest Center Mall. They changed it back. Because no one called it Southwest Center. It's Redbird Mall. Anyway, pink lemonade. Let's try this bad boy. That tastes like pink lemonade. Man, let me tell you why I like pink lemonade as opposed to, or more so than regular lemonade. Because pink lemonade takes a crap ton of the tart out. Lemonade is great, but lemonade on a hot day, if I'm out, you know, balling or whatever, because I'm sometimes I be balling. When I'm out balling or whatever, I don't want a lemonade because it's too tart. Pink lemonade, however, throws enough of that sweetness in to almost wipe out all that tartness. Let, let me hit this again. And that is nice. That's something you, on a hot summer day, could vape all day. You could vape the balls off this. Pink lemonade. Nice, sweet, refreshing lemonade flavor. As opposed to lemon flavor. All right, next up is mint chip at a 95 VG. Holy mackerel. I don't know if I've ever had anything that high. Formerly known as Tundra, a refreshing take on mint chocolate chip ice cream or the yummy after dinner mint chocolates, all depending on your taste buds and who you ask. So mint chip, I, I, I dig Andy's candies. That's why I'm fat. If I didn't sit around eating tons of freaking Andy's candies, I would be a svelte, sexier beast. Sexier than the beast I am, the beast. Man, I can smell it. I can smell it coming out. It smells like Andy's candies. Let's see, let's see. And that is fantastic. And let me tell you why. There is enough, that, damn, that tastes like an Andy's Candies. The mint in that tastes just like the mint in an Andy's Candies. Uh, as far as mint chocolate chip ice cream, I don't, I don't, honestly, I guess I don't eat enough to really be able to compare it to that flavor. But as far as Andy's Candies, comparing it to that, man, it compares very, very well. It's got a smooth chocolate base. And it's like it's layered. It's got that chocolate base and it's got that minty mi middle, minty middle. Let's try it again. So glad this turned out well because this is one of the ones like Earl Grey tea that I was like, Meh. I don't really like reviewing things that I'm pretty sure I have a good chance of bashing. And it might seem a little strange to some. It was to me to think of vaping an Andy's candy, but it's not. It's delectable. If you, I'll tell you this, if you like Andy's candies and you like vaping, then you will like vaping mint chip. And the penultimate bottle, generally fruity, an 80 VG. And speaking of that, at 95 VG, that had a ton of flavor. That had a surprising amount of flavor for something that's so high a VG. Generally fruity. Fruity goodness with hints of watermelon, raspberry, and pear. Which sounds delicious because one of my favorite combinations when I first started vaping involved pear, and I haven't had a pear e-juice in a year. So again, I'm really excited to see what this tastes like. Now, what I like about Northland Vapor already is they have a disclaimer on this juice that says, this is one of our more polarizing flavors. Most people like it, but some people just don't. 
If you have not tried this flavor before and are concerned that you may not like it, we recommend first purchasing a sample pack with multiple flavors here. Man, who does that? Who does that? Who makes a juice and says, a lot of people like this, but some just really don't. So you may want to try a smaller sample. Save you some money, just in case you don't like. I really dig that, that they did that. I'm gonna smell this. Man, this smells like a damn fruit basket. That doesn't smell like candy or anything. It smells like fruit. Let's, let's, let's see. Let's see this polarizing flavor. Let's see what, uh, see what side of the fence I land on. I had to change cotton, by the way. My cotton was getting, was getting a little rambunctious. You know what I mean? Generally fruity. Man, it's like Christmas. Someone says, hey, you may like this, you may not. It's like the first time I had Guinness. People used to tell me, Guinness is an acquired taste. You may love it. You may not. You may hate it. Luckily for me, I love it. Or unluckily, because it's imported and it's expensive. But I'm fancy like that. Generally fruity. Let's get to it. I, I don't see why that would be polarizing. What, it, what is this? Fruity goodness with hints of watermelon, raspberry, and pear. That's delicious. Um, let me let me hit that again immediately. That's another one that's really complex. That's more of a fruit medley to me. There's a lot going on there, and it's hard to really distinguish individual flavors. But no, man, that's that's fantastic. One more time. This tastes like a fresh, like you, if you got several pieces of fruit and shoved them in your fat mouth. That's what it tastes like. It tastes like a, a nice mix of fresh fruit. That's really good. That's fantastic. I wonder why people wouldn't like that. Maybe because you can't individually pick out fruits really well. Let's get you out of here. Let's hit the last one. So far, very, very pleased. Very, very pleased. And the last one. I actually got a giant... A giant bottle of well, this one. I think this is a, let me check. This is her new, a new flavor, Tangerine Dream. Tangerine Dream. I've had a Tangerine vape before and one of my sample boxes back in the day was really, really good. Multi-layered creamy, dreamy orange popsicle complete with a cooling sensation, 87 VG. New flavor from Northland Vape. Oh, already smells fantastic. Oh, it smells good. It smells like a creamsicle, dreamsicle. Dreamy cream sickle. Let's hit it. Tastes like a tastes like a cream sickle. Uh, but uh, maybe a little lighter on the cream. Here's what I like about tangerine and why I prefer tangerine to orange is tangerine again loses to me a lot of that acidity that maybe a citrus an orange flavor would have so you don't need as much cream i think i would like a little more cream let, let me see if i were to be a hard ass i would like personally a little more cream but it doesn't need it to round out that tangerine since it's much lighter a much less citrusy flavor than an orange would be and juicy can a can an elik would be juicy? Cause that tastes like a like almost a melting. Like if you're out in the sun eating your your popsicle, and it's starting to melt, and it's just it's just enveloping your tongue. Man, another one, another one. Again, man, Northland Vapor. They're not paying me money. I don't have any reason to say that these are all good, but they were all they were all really really good. Um. Man, I don't even know what my favorite would be. I like the generally fruity, I think. That may be my favorite. That nuts and cream, though. Man, there's a lot. There's a lot to choose from. I'm ready to get these in a tank. I'm ready to get these in that Crown 3. Northland Vapor Company. I will link their website, obviously, in the description below. They are having the Canada Day sale. I don't know if it's a Canada Day slash 4th of July sale. I don't know how long it's going to last. Uh... So you better get over there take a look at it. Because these are really, really, really good. These are really, really well made. Maybe, maybe technology. You're just not getting crap juice anymore. And obviously taste is subjective. I happen to, to really dig all these flavors. Even though there were a couple I was, you know, I didn't know. 
Earl Grey tea? Who the hell knows? I didn't. But anyway, if you like good juice at a good price, check them out. Check them out. North Dakota's finest. And if you like what I'm doing, throw me a like. Hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions, comments, and concerns, put those in the comment section below. We'll rectify that situation. And I want to wish everyone a happy Canada Day. A. Eh? And a happy 4th of July coming up. I happen to be off. I'm probably going to go blow stuff up. And we'll see how that goes. Maybe I'll make a 4th of July Apex juice video. We'll see. Hold your breath. <laughs> but as always, I'd like to remind you guys to mob that bitch to the wheels fall off. And I'm out.